you know this is Ozzy pick, right? Yeah, you, you know this is Ozzy all day. Even though he's not the GM anymore, Ozzy, he the one that slipped this one in. Anyway, team keep it clean. So the Ravens, Jalen Amore Davis, select the cornerback from Alabama. Uh, he is six foot one, little under 200 pounds. Um, and when I watch him play, he reminded me of Ladarius Webb. How you can have him play outside corner. He could play a uh, slot corner too. Um, but he is somebody, he's somebody who's right place, right time. When I saw his interceptions, all his interceptions came last year, but all three of them were right place, right time to where the ball just simply just happened to bounce his way. But one thing that I loved about his interceptions, Eric DaCosta mentioned in the presser earlier uh, this off season, he said that they want to force more turnovers. His hands are soft. When he, he catches the ball like a wide receiver. And I think Eric DaCosta and all of them, they are so tight. Last year, it burned him. It burned him so bad. Because when you, when you don't have a Marcus Peters out there, oh, it's going to be put on full display. But the dropped interceptions. And we know that these, this, this part of the reason why a lot of these guys end up playing defense anyway, because they can't catch. But... The drop interceptions were just, ooh, it was crazy. It was crazy because those are game-changing plays. And I think Eric DaCosta went into this pick, and or really Ozzy Newsom too, thinking like, man, how can we solidify our depth at corner but get some guys that can catch? <laughs> get some guys that can catch that football, man. Because we need the turnovers. Um, so, yeah, he, he will definitely have a role. He will definitely get uh, plenty of playing time. Of course, it's going to be more so special teams. But he, like Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, those are your top two corners. Brandon Stevens, he's going to play a lot of corner too. But then after that, it's, it's wide open for the taking. It is wide open. There, there are no spots that are safe or spots that are guaranteed after the top three. So, he will be active on game day. I, I not necessarily guaranteeing it, but I can almost guarantee it um, based off of the free agency and the draft so far. Uh, one last thing before we get out of here. I, are Ravens really getting ready to prove me wrong? Because y'all have heard me say it a million times. I'm like, there's no way that the Ravens are going to use all 10 picks. And they even end up getting, I think, like one more. But I'm like, there's no way that the Ravens are going to use all of their picks. There, there, it's no way. It's not happening. Uh-uh. These guys are looking like they may be on pace to literally use every single pick. I'm just wondering where all those rookies going to fit. Where all those rookies going to fit. I mean, things, things could obviously change throughout the rest of the day. But it is looking like uh, they are going to maybe use all of their picks. So, we'll see how this thing shakes out. Again, still a lot of time left. Still a lot of picks left. Ravens got like a million picks left in his fourth round alone. Um, so, we'll see. Oh, I know he ran a 4-3-9. Ooh. I know he had good speed. I know he had good speed. Okay, I see it, man. All right. I like it. I like it. But, again, yeah, he'll be uh, – you'll see him on special teams a lot. And you'll see him dibbling, dabbling the defense here and there, too. So, solid pickup. Solid corner. Um, and yeah, again, you know, Ozzy, he's smiling for this one big time.